What's up YouTube? Back with your boy Luke. Hey guys, check this out. This video is going to piss these females off, but that's just too damn bad. Happy Thanksgiving Day. This is going to be a one take Drake because I'm pressed and I have to go to work. I just feel obligated to let you guys know that this is the time of the year where guys make the biggest mistakes of their life, okay? Guys, between Thanksgiving and Christmas, do not fall for the pure pressure to get engaged or to get married and committed to one of these females. Stay single, stay free, keep your leverage. Okay guys, first and foremost, it's probably the biggest financial mistake that you're ever gonna make is getting married, okay? We all know that at least 50% of marriages, that's the first marriage end in divorce, guys. So why in the hell would you wanna make an investment in something when there's a 50% chance you're gonna lose your ass? Think about it. Would you invest in a stock or would you make an investment in something if you knew there was a 50% chance you were going to lose your ass? Guys, and it's not just the 50% that you're going to lose when she leaves. Chances are by that time, there's going to be a kid involved. So you're going to lose 50% of your assets and have to make child support payments for at least the next 18 years, okay? That's the way this goes. And that's just financially, okay? You ever hear of a woman paying a man alimony? It doesn't work that way in family court. The man always has to pay the woman, okay? So financially speaking, guys, stick to your guns. It doesn't matter if you're eating with her family over Thanksgiving. People are going to be dropping hints. People are going to be dropping hints over the Christmas holidays when you're opening up gifts. When are you guys going to get married? When are you guys going to settle down? It don't matter, guys. Now, by some chance, if you've already messed up and bought a wedding ring, take it back. You'd be lucky to get half your money back. If they would just give you half your money back, you'll be okay. If they won't give your money back, throw it off a fucking bridge. You'd probably be better off, okay? I'm telling you guys right now. Number two, you're completely going to lose your freedom, okay? Going out with the guys, doing things you want to do talking to other girls on your Facebook, your text messages, things like that. You're done, guys. You are absolutely committed at this point to one woman, one piece of ass. And unless she's got a killer job and she's bringing a lot to the table, you don't need to do this. I'm telling you, especially if you're younger, guys. From the time you're 20 to the time you're 25, you're completely going to change the person that you are. From the time that you're 25 to 30, you're going to change again. From the time that you're 30 to 35, you're going to change again, okay? And the last thing you want to be is tied down to someone who you liked back in the day, okay? And now all of a sudden you don't like her. Because let me tell you about most marriages. Most marriages is true. The sad truth is most guys are afraid to leave or they can't leave. They can't afford to leave. By this time, right after you get married, she's probably going to get pregnant, okay? Okay. So you doubled your expenses with her. Now you've tripled your expenses with the kid, the insurance, the diapers, all that stuff. Guys, you're going to have to go on. You're going to have to buy rings. You're going to have to go on a honeymoon. She's going to want a minivan as soon as she gets pregnant. I mean, the expenses just keep adding up. Bam, 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 bam. You are not going to be able to overcome these expenses. Okay. I mean, unless you're getting paid like a rock star out there, you're going to be caught in a situation where you can't leave, you can't maneuver, you can't do anything, all right? And let me tell you something else, guys. A lot of women, they have a lot to work for when you're dating, and that's because they're trying to obtain their security. They're trying to grasp on to that I'm taking care of attitude that American girls have these days. But guys, once, she, once you marry her, she has nothing else to work for. At this point in time, she'll probably let herself go. She'll probably quit working out. Um, another thing, they'll probably start withholding sex from you. All right. Many guys that I know that are married work super hard, make a lot of money. They give all their money to their wife and kids and they're allowed a small allowance. Yeah, they get a small allowance. While she drives a new minivan or a new Yukon or a Denali loaded down with kids to soccer games and things like that. Chances are he's driving an older car or an older truck, just hoping it gets to working back so he can pay his bills and live paycheck to paycheck. Guys, she's got to be the one. If you're out going to strip clubs, you're out messaging girls on the side, you're hiding your telephone, okay? 
you're hitting up the Asian massage parlor every now and then. If that's the case, she's not the one. Don't do this. It doesn't matter if you've already proposed to her. Guys, think about just where that starts. You're going to get down on one knee and propose to her. You're going to get down on one knee and give her a ring, which is probably the third ring you've bought her. Engagement ring, promise ring, wedding ring, and it just never stops. Honeymoon, car. I mean, how much debt are you going to start your life in? Okay. So anyways, back to this wedding. She's going to pick out the flowers. She's going to pick out the bride's dresses. She's going to pick out everything, right? This is going to be all about her. And you're going to support her, take care of her, promise to be there for her through sick, through health, everything for years to come until death do us part. And you know what? Women want guys that make more money, that are taller, that are in good shape, that are going to buy her the house. And they still think they're the catch. Are you kidding me, guys? Keep your freedom. Stay single. Do not succumb to the pressure over this holiday season to get married. It don't matter what everybody else is doing. Like I said, if you've already bought the ring, take it back. Here's something else you got to think of, guys. You're going to find yourself in real short order in a situation if you have already proposed or you are already getting pressured into a marriage. The earlier that you back out of this thing, the better. I can tell you right now, one of the best pieces of advice I got was from an old used car dealer in Pilot Point, Texas. And he told me one time, he said, son, I don't care if you propose to her and you agree to marry her. It's never too late to back out. He said, I don't care if you're standing up there with the Baptist preacher and you're looking out at all your family and friends and she's walking down that aisle coming your way with her dad. He's giving her away. He said, you don't have to take her. You can back out right there. And he was absolutely right. Now, guys, also, if you're even considering this, let me tell you what to do right now in the holiday season. Shack up with the girl first, okay? You need to shack up with her for at least one year. Let everybody's birthdays pass. Let everybody's Christmas pass, Thanksgiving pass. Meet the in-laws. Live together. Cohabitate. Work, okay? Because you never know somebody until you truly live with them. By the time you live with her for one year and you get to know her mother, her father, her family, their traditions, how they pass over the holidays, things like that, you're going to have a whole lot better understanding of how she works, how her family works, and if this relationship is going to work or not, okay? I'm telling you, 100%. Also, guys, when you get married and she gets pregnant, she's going to have that kid, she's going to get that minivan, and you know what? She's going to quit her job, too. That's probably what's going to happen. Now, again, guys, I'm not trying to generalize here. I know there are some women that make more money than men. I know there are some women that contribute, okay? But in most cases, you need to ask yourself, why in the hell am I giving away my leverage? Why are you doing this? How old is she? Chances are if she's over 25 years old, if she was worth a damn, somebody else would already have her. Unless she's been in law school, medical school, Stay single, stay free, build your own business, become the best version of yourself. All right. Hey guys, smash that red like and subscribe button. Eight minutes and 48 seconds, straight fire, one take Drake, no editing till next time. We'll see you down the road. By the way, Christmas day, I will be at the Adelita bar in Tijuana, Mexico. I'll see you there.